Hello everyone, welcome on back to the Let's Play. Our last episode, we did 4-2 the Ritual Path. Today, I'm going to do 3-1. I leveled up a little after killing the old hero. Oh, and as you can see, Patches is back. Wow. He's a great vendor. Oh, well, well. We've you can get quite a lot of stuff from him. He is one of the best vendors in the game. You know, I think I'll take some late moon grass. Because why not? Okay. Nice Let's go. So we're off to 3-1. Prison of Hope in the Tower of Latria Archstone. So, we can't go through there yet because we need to get some keys. What I'm actually going to do is switch to... Here it is, the Crescent Falchion. Now, I don't have a lot of magic, so I'm not going to do a lot of magic damage. However, these guys are weak to slashing damage, which is what this weapon happens to do. So, we're going to sneak up on him. And yeah, we're going to get a backstab. We're not going to do a ton of damage to him, but... There we go. Not bad. So we got the key there. I am not going to grab all the items. I've done that in my first Let's Play. Or, well, wasn't a Let's Play. But I'll get... I'll, go to, uh, I'll get a good amount of the stuff if I want to. But anyway, my very first playthrough of this game, I picked up every single item. But I will not be doing that here unless I really want to. I don't believe there's a key here, is there? Yeah, these mind flayers are quite annoying. Be nice if you just continue doing that. Okay, there's no reason for me to be over here. Yep. Okay. I mean, there are other stuff I can grab here. But yeah, during my very first playthrough of this game, I um, got every single item. It took me a long time to beat this game because this is my very first Souls game and. So I, I didn't struggle a ton. It's not like a, it's a challenging, difficult game. Don't get me wrong, but I had watched some playthroughs from other people before playing the game for myself, so I knew a lot of what to do. But anyway, yeah. So, is there anything else I need to grab in here? I don't think so. Or I just don't remember. But yeah, to my very first playthrough of this game, I grabbed all the items and took my time with everything. But here, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Why is that the case? Oh, I, I was wrong. I, I do have to go through there. Hold on. Or got something. Grab the key there, right? Yeah. Ah, give me a second, guys. There's nothing here for me to grab, right? No. I don't know why, but during the Let's Plays, I just sometimes forget where I'm going. I, I have no idea why. It's not like I haven't played these games before. It's not like I've beaten this game three times on just one file and then work on this one. And, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff. Like I've, I've seen so much gameplay. I know, I know exactly where to go and what to do. And I've beaten the game for myself. Step. Nope. It's okay. Yeah, I just forgot to grab the key over here. That's like the one key I often forget. Nah, it's nothing for there for me. Ooh, sneaky. Forgot about that. Just watch out for that guy. Jerk. Okay, so we're gonna head all the way back and we'll be able to open that door now. Or gate, or whatever you want to call it. 
right here, I believe. Yes. Go to the right. All the way back down past where we started. And we can go through that gate finally. And again, I'm, I'm sorry guys. I'm still recording while sick. So just like in my last episode, which I recorded a little bit earlier today, I still have a cold. So if I don't sound my best, I am really sorry. My cold should be gone tomorrow, I'd say. Let's hope. Yeah, let, let's hope I feel a lot better tomorrow. Okay, so... Kind of a jerk move, but let's just kill this guy. Get by him. Okay. And we can go through that gate in a second, but we don't have the key. Let's see? So we need to run all the way down here. Oh wait, no, not this far. <laughs> Through here. Don't believe I want to open these. Oh no, that's not good. Damage isn't too, too bad. There we go. Excuse me for a second, I need a tissue. Man, I hate runny noses, they're extremely annoying. I mean, my cold really isn't that bad. I, I feel fine, I can do stuff like play video games or whatever, but just got a sore throat. And I've got an extremely runny nose. But that's okay. I'll be fine tomorrow or in a couple days. Go all the way down here, and we're going to open the gate. Now, I'm sorry about my last episode being so long. I died a couple times, and that kind of set me back a little. But I was also doing it at a low soul level, so it's not surprising. I'm going to switch to the great club. How's he not see me? Yeah, I think that does more damage. It's probably better. Oops. Yes, I, I, I think that's this, this is better. That's way better. Does way more damage. And I'm used to strength weapons. Okay. Can open this gate. this to check. Alright, he's walking this way. Okay, we'll just wait patiently for him. Ooh, yeah, that does a lot more damage. Definitely prefer that. Okay. So, we go to the left. Can't get an item here, I believe. Yes. Just don't fall. Whatever you do, please do not fall. And now we'll go over to the left. Yeah, I'm, I'm not grabbing all these items through the gates. I, I normally... I, I did during my very first playthrough, and I normally grab a few of the items, but I do not want this episode to take too long. And, I mean, you guys can see what the items are, so you can grab them for yourself if you want. But I'm not going to for now. I may come back here off-screen and grab a few items, and I'll let you guys know if I do that. But, at least for now, I'm not grabbing all of those items unless I really want to. And, well, I mean, I'll grab this. It's right here. Don't need to continue down any of these. You just keep going down. Open this. Grab this key. Open this up. And then continue down. 
Right to the, the fog. Yeah, what the heck, I'll grab this too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's grab that. Keep heading down. Okay, so... Now we're at the bottom. We're almost at the boss, but we have a few things we have to do first, including fighting this enemy. Run over here behind this. So you don't get hit. Oops. Stand by one of these pillars. And just keep hitting it. Keep for what he shakes his arms around like that. That was almost the death of me. Does he not see where I am anymore? That should be it. Yep. Alright, he's dead. It's annoying that he respawns every time. And he's almost just not worth it. But, it's whatever. Get the crystal lizard there. Just be careful to not fall. Oh, there's there is no fall there. Oh, I think it's on the other side then. I'm, I completely forgot about that. Well, I just lost a crystal lizard for no reason, but that's okay. Because I can grab this item here. Another soul, nice. Can open this up too. But not going through there. Can continue through here. We'll get a cutscene. Now that's the ballista, which we can either cross or I'll explain the other way in a second. So basically, we can either roll across until we get to the other side and we can close the ballista. Or we can grab a key, which is the first item over there, which we could just barely avoid the ballista by grabbing and run back over. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna do the actual way, or at least this way through the ballista, because. Normally I do pretty good with this, but just need to take a second to prepare myself. There we go. I'm normally really good at that and normally don't get hit at all, but I'll take that. That's that was pretty good for me. For first try. And now, you're definitely going to want to grab all these items because they're all really good items. Get this. You're going to get some souls. You're going to get a rain. A clever rat's rain. Renowned warrior soul. Another one. Stone of Femoral Eyes. And a key. Now, before we go back, we have to run all the way over here. We're going to have to go up this tower and a lawn corridor when I mean lawn I mean lawn but it is 100% necessary now the other way we could have went is grabbing that warden key go back a little could open these two gates now and you can run around through there kill a couple of bind flares and you, you'll be behind the ballista that's a lawn route and personally unless you're really low health or something like that, you don't have armor, or you're just really not confident in your ability to get a, get across it. I'd say it's not worth it, but in that case, maybe it would be. But other than that, I I personally don't think it's worth it. So we have to go through here. Open this. Run down a little bit more. And this guy resurrects this the boss in this room. So if you kill the boss, you have to leave and then come back and kill him, or she'll keep responding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now that he's dead, grab the special key. And now, before we head down to the boss, we're going to backtrack a little. And I'd rather do this now than later on. 
And we're gonna get Sage Frank. He is um, the guy that you give boss souls to, so you can get uh, different magic spells and abilities. And he's he's very very good to get if you're doing a magic build or I mean any build that uses even a little bit of magic. Even the strength build will have some use for magic. That'll be curse weapon, but still it's it's a magic ability and it takes a boss soul. But regardless, we're gonna run back down. This gets dizzy, guys. Just close your eyes for a second. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty used to it, but it made me dizzy for a second. Yeah, we have to run all the way back. It stinks, it takes some time, but honestly, we're we're making pretty good time here. Since I avoided a lot of the items through the gates. So we're gonna run back through here. Oh, looks like I missed an item. After I killed uh, this guy here. I honestly forget what they're called. I, I really just can't remember what they're called, but whatever. Grab another item here, I guess. Soul, nice. And we'll run back through here. Up the stairs, and I'll let you guys know when we get back to Sage Frake area. But basically, up these stairs, and once you get to that like straight area with a couple of gates on the side, right here, run down. Not through there. We got one more staircase, and on the right, go down a few gates. Yeah, what the heck? We'll get the item here too. Got nowhere else to go. Oops. Want to do is shoot the chain. And now we can get this. Excuse me, I need to use another tissue. Sorry, I hate these runny noses. Not this one, but the third one down. Now that we freed him, we can talk to him real quickly. And he'll come back to the Nexus. Sorry to skip all that, but it's, all, it's okay. He'll give you this item. Now he's free, he can go back to the Nexus, and we'll just make our way back down. And I mean, if you're playing the game for the first time for yourself, you can listen to his dialogue, but I've heard it before. And this is not a walkthrough, so I'm just going to continue on. But he basically just tells you, that you Sage Frank, he got trapped here. Tells you a couple other things, and that's basically it. Now, one more thing before the boss. There's another Black Phantom. And she can be pretty dangerous. She can... I believe it's Plague is the effect she puts on you, but... Point is... Is not good. You're gonna want to be very, very careful against her. She'll shoot a crossbow, and she'll be invisible until you get closer to her, and then you'll be able to actually see her. Now, I'm very tempted to just run by her, but I'm just gonna hold my shield up. Yeah, I'll take out my full moon grass. Okay, and I'm just gonna hope for the best. Definitely want to get in range as quickly as possible. There we go. Do not want to get hit by her at all. Hit her like that as much as you possibly can. Because if you were hit by her... Oh. Oh no. I do not want to be plagued, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm very, very tempted to just run by her for now. Yeah, I'm going to have her use her crossbow. There we go. But just stop that. I don't like you at all. Can you just use your crossbow, please? There we go. I think that's the best system. I'm not great at parrying, so I'm not even going to try. I just want her to take your crossbow out. Take out your crossbow. 
There we go. I mean, that's a solid 216 damage. Just do that a few more times. She should be good. Come on. You're not doing anything without the crossbow. Uh, didn't quite get it, but that's okay. Take out your crossbow. There we go. Yeah, this is solid damage. There we go. And she's dead. Not too, too bad, but she can be a pain. I'm just really, really happy I did not get plagued there. That would be one of the worst things that could happen in that scenario. I'm trying to think, what should I use for my weapon against the boss? I'm going to go with the Great Club. Excuse me for one second, guys. It's going to be a cutscene in a second, too. So I'll just go forward and you guys can see that. Okay. Now we can continue forward. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now we can continue forward and another cutscene. Now this boss is called the Fool's Idol. And what she does is after you hit her the first time, <coughs> excuse me, she'll disappear and reappear somewhere else with a bunch of clones of herself. So we're gonna grab these items here first. Run over and start attacking her. Oops. I don't like those, but at least she can't hit me from here. Okay. Okay, the damage isn't bad. So now she's gonna have a few copies of her. If you see a, a little health bar, or if the blue, the blue attacks are smaller. It's the one all the way down here, I believe. So I wanna go over here, so I'm safe for a second. Yep, there she is. I'm even going to use this, just to be safe. Oh no, that's not good. How did I survive that? I would also suggest, normally speaking, use, uh, uh, destroy these chairs first. I don't know how I've survived both of those. Okay, we're going to wait for her to attack a couple times and see which one is her. It's this one. I believe. Yep. She's not too difficult of a boss, but she can be a little annoying. Once she makes more clones, she becomes very difficult to deal with. I like to just always run back here, so I'm always protected. Wait a minute to see what else happens that one all the way back there and just don't get caught in the green traps come on one more oh. I'm back here for protection again Okay. The real one is all the way down there, I believe. Wow, she lost aggro when I have the thief ring on. Are you kidding me? 
That's incredible. Oops. Run, run. There she is. She's dead. I thought it was that one, not this one, but I wasn't sure which one. Now, the reason I grabbed that item from there before is because once you step up here, you get in a cutscene. Pretty cool cutscene. And they just brought you up all the way to the third, or I mean, sorry, to 3 2, the second area of this, of World 3. Run all the way up here. Without falling down. You can touch the Art Stone and get the Fool's Idol Soul, or call the Doll Demon Soul. Now we're in Upper Latria, uh, yeah, Upper Latria, aka 3 2. So, as you guys can see, she's a pretty easy boss, not too difficult, but if you get caught in one of her green traps, you become a pain, but she's not too difficult. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You're awesome. Have an amazing day. See you soon.